Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. This is part two of today's video, May 19th of 2020. So as I said in the part one, um, we're going to start with unit nine and unit nine is about daily living. Uh, so we're on page 110, unit nine, and we're gonna talk about daily living. Um, so if you remember in unit eight, uh, we uh, learned about, or we learned some uh, things about working, right? We learned about identifying occupations. We learned um, to use the simple past to be, was, and were to ask questions and to make a statement about a person's occupation. So like, for example, I was a doctor. So it means in the past, I was a doctor. But right now, I'm a teacher. And then we also uh, learn to use the word can to talk about abilities, right? So instead of talking about um, the skills or the workplace of the occupation, I want you to think about what you do at home. What are things that you do at home? What are some responsibilities? So here, I'm gonna write it here so you have, you can see it better. So what are uh, what responsibility do you at home? What responsibilities do you have at home? So responsibility. So another word um, would be house chores. Things you're responsible in the house. And so we have house chores. For example, um, I'm talking about um, washing the dishes. Um, what is it? Cook. Um, clean the bathroom. Pay bills. And etc. Right. So those are those could be some of your responsibilities at home. So that's what we're gonna talk about uh, in the daily living. So with that, um, let's try to do the exercises um, starting from page 110. So now let's look at it. Lesson A, listening. Before you listen, A, look at the picture. What do you see? Okay, so let's go over what we see. So let's see. So we see we have Lucas, Chris, Sharon, Ben, and Jeff. Uh, so where are the people right now? Where are the people? Based on the picture, we can see that they're in a house. And we see a kitchen, right? Uh, and a bathroom, right? Kitchen, and we can assume that because there are, uh, they have a pot cooking right now. And then they have dishes on uh, dirty dishes and refrigerator, so we can assume that this is the uh, kitchen and the house, and then the bathroom here. And here seems like um, Lucas is the father. He is uh, in the bathroom right now. Sharon is the mother, and I think these are all brothers. I think that Ben is the youngest. Maybe this is his second oldest brother to Ben, so Chris, and the old, the eldest would be Jeff. So these Jeff, Ben, and Chris are brothers, and their parents are Lucas and Sharon. 
what is uh, Sharon doing? She is mopping the floor. Uh, Lucas is cleaning the bathroom. Seems like Chris is taking out the trash. Ben is uh, vacuuming the carpet. And Jeff is ironing the clothes. Uh, and then we see a refrigerator, we see a table, we see a dog, and then, oh, specific, more specifically, Sharon is mopping the floor because of this dog's footprints, footprints are on the floor, footprints. Um, so, foot so what I said was footprints. So if I write in a sentence, so Sharon is mopping the floor because of dogs' footprints are, oh, mopping the floor. So this is what I'm talking about. Sharon is mopping the floor because of the dog's footprints. See, this dog um, was stepping everywhere. And she's trying to clean it up. Okay. So let's see. B, point to a person. Oh, okay. So they talk about the actions that the, uh, each person is doing. So let's do this. So point to a person. So who's cleaning the bathroom? Cleaning the bathroom. And we can see that it's Lucas. Lucas cleaning the bathroom. Emptying the trash. That's Chris right here. As you can see, he's emptying the trash can to a bigger garbage. Um, plastic bag, garbage bag. Mopping the floor. We, we said it was Sharon is mopping the floor because of the dog's footprints. Um, vacuuming the rug. That's Ben. And rug is pretty much the same thing as uh, carpet. And finally, ironing clothes, we have Jeff. Jeff is ironing clothes. Okay. Okay, so um, some other things we can see is a refrigerator, dirty dishes, um, we have a mop, or is that a mop? Oh no, this is a broomstick, sorry, broom, B-R-O-O-M, and then there aren't anything um, that I can mention, yeah, so uh, these are some actions and things that we can see in this picture. And Basically, uh, they're all uh, cleaning the house, or specifically the bathroom and the kitchen together. And right now, uh, it's just showing that they're, it's their responsibility. Um, so, Lucas' responsibility is to clean the bathroom. Sharon's responsibility is to mop the floor. Chris's um, responsibility is to em empty the trash. Ben's responsibility is to vacuum the rug or the carpet. And finally, Jeff's responsibility is to iron the clothes. Okay, now we're going to do the exercise two. Exercise two, listen, write the letter of the conversation. Okay, so we're going to listen to the recording first and try to do the exercise two A and B. So let's do that. Unit 9. Daily Living. Page 111. Exercises 2A and 2B. Track 31. Conversation A. Did you wash the clothes? No, I didn't. But Rachel did. She did? When? She washed them last night. Good for her. 
Conversation B. Did you pay the bills? Yes, I did. Are you sure? When? I paid them yesterday morning. That's great. Thank you. Conversation C. Susie, did you clean the bathroom? No, I didn't. But Rita did. Oh? When did she clean it? She cleaned it the day before yesterday. Okay. Good. Conversation D. Frank, the rug is really clean. Did you vacuum it? Yes, I did. Did you do it last Friday? I vacuumed it every day last week. Every day? That's wonderful. Conversation E. Did Alice dust the bookshelves? Yes, she did. Oh, that's good. Yes, I told her yesterday. Well, I'll thank her. Conversation F. Ralph, did you mop the floor or did Victor do it? I mopped it. When? Last night. Well, it's dirty again. Okay, that's the end of the audio. So if you want to listen to it again, you can um, use your smartphone to scan this uh, scan this to get the audio file but anyway let's get the, into this um, so let's just look at the pictures first okay so one through number six um, so here we have a person using a laptop and uh, he's doing something serious um, but we don't know what he's exactly doing with the computer okay and number two we have a person who's mopping the floor here we have a person who's doing the laundry, right? And number four, we have a person um, cleaning the tub in the bathroom. And we have a person in number five, we have a person vacuuming the floor. And for number six, we have a person dusting the bookshelves. So that's what we can see in the pictures. And then based on the conversation or the audios that we just listened to, uh, the answer for number one, let's do number one first, um, is B. So number one, um, the conversation B talked about paying bills. So based on that, if we look at all these pictures, when do, where do you usually pay bills? Or what kind of tools do you use to pay bills? You know, we, uh, we pay bills by using a computer or a laptop, right? And that's what it looks like in this picture. So we can say the conversation B is for number one. And every other um, pictures here, um, the uh, the audio said it clearly of what kind of actions that they're doing. So for number two, the answer is conversation F. Number three is A. Number four is C. And number five is D. And number six is E. And to be listen again to the conversation, circle the time expression you hear. Time expression. So you remember we uh, learned about propositions of time. We talked about uh, Monday through Friday, or Monday through Sunday, sorry. Uh, month, past, present, future, periods, years. You know all those t uh, different uh, propositions of time. Here we're going. It's a little bit different, but we're here. We're going to circle the time expression. 
for for conversation A, it was last night. Conversation B, the correct answer was uh, yesterday. Yesterday. I'm pretty sure it was yesterday. Oh, whoops. For conversation C, it was the day before yesterday. Why is it not working? Hold on a second. Oh. Yesterday, for conversation D, it was last Friday. Hmm. Okay, so for D, it was uh, every day last week. For E, it's yesterday. And then for F, it was last night. So for A, last night. B is... Oh, I made a mistake, sorry. So B is not yesterday, it's yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. C is the day before yesterday. D is every day uh, last week. E, conversation E is yesterday, and conversation F is last night. So um, these are the time expressions, time expression that you should have heard. Uh, let's go down. Exercise three. After you listen, work with a partner. Put the words from the box to um, in the correct category. We have a bill, the floor, a shirt, the trash, a dress, the rug, a ticket, the wastebasket. So let's try to fill it in. Um, Instead of filling in, I'm going to type it so it's easier to see. Okay. Okay. So, in a second. Okay, here we go. So, what are some things that we can iron? We have a dress and a shirt. That's what we can iron. Iron is, is to flatten something, it means. Flatten, uh, empty. What are something that we can empty? We can empty the trash. The waste basket. What are things that we can vacuum? We have the floor. And we have the rug. A rug, as I said, is similar to carpet. What are some things that we can pay? We can pay a bill. And we can pay a ticket. Okay. So these are some things that we can iron empty vacuum and pay okay okay uh, we just finished exercise three in uh, lesson a listening for unit nine um, so that's it for part two of today's video okay thanks for watching